All right, in this tech snips, we are going to talk about how to build a web service uptime tool in PowerShell. Before we get too far, let's talk about the prerequisites. And really, there's not a lot. It's just PowerShell and a web service of some kind. This is what's a great thing about PowerShell. We don't really need any fancy tools. You probably do need to check out the how to use the bells and whistles with PowerShell's test connection and test net connection commandlets by Matt Brown in the library because it goes over all of the parameters and things you can use with test net connection, which we'll be using in this snip. And finally, the scenario here, we are going to create a PowerShell script that just tests whether a page is accessible on a web server. If not, it's just going to log to a file. Then once we have that script created, we're going to create a scheduled task on a remote server in my AD environment and just kick it off every day. Let's get into it. All right, first thing, we have to build the PowerShell script that will actually test the connection. And to do that, I have created a script called testwebservice.ps1, and it is right here. The script has two parameters, URL and log file path. The URL is the only mandatory parameter that we're going to pass to it. We're going to execute this script and pass the URL that we want to test to it. And then it's going to just default to the log file path of C web service monitor.log. Now this script is not too complicated at all. On line 11 there, it's just parsing the host. So I first want to ensure that the web server is online by testing port 80. This is where I use test net connection here, which Matt Brown's SNP would come in handy because I don't want to run invoke web request there on line 20 first to actually test the page if the web server isn't even responding. So this is a good way. So in line 16 there, I'm using test net connection, testing to see if port 80 is responding first. If it's not, I'm just adding the message that it is not responding in the log file. If it is, then it's going to go ahead and say it's if the host is okay. Then it's going to run invoke web request to actually check the page. On line 21, it checks the status code of 200, so make sure that it returns a successful HTTP 200. If it does, it's going to write a message that says that it's okay. If not, then it's going to say the page, whatever the URL is, is broken. Then provide the HTTP response code there. So that is the script that we'll be using. All right, so now let's go back here, and now we'll go ahead and run this locally and see if this works. All right, so now notice that we didn't get anything in return, which we won't. We, we won't get any kind of interactive output because this is going to be ran in a scheduled task. But I know that since I didn't pass anything for the log file path parameter here, there should be a log file at C web service monitor log. So let's see if there is. All right, yep, and notice that it has the timestamp that I provided. It checks the host, it parsed the host out, it says the host is okay, and then it says the page is okay. So it works great locally. So we can run that um, interactively if we need to, but um, let's go ahead and just kind of create a monitor from this. And to do that, I could go out and create a scheduled task on a server uh, manually, but uh, what fun is that? We're in a PowerShell snip here, so let's do it in PowerShell. So to do that, I created a new PowerShell script in the PowerShell gallery a while back that I use for this kind of um, instance. I'm not gonna go over this in detail by any means. We may do another snip on this at a later time, but for now, the new scheduled script is in the PowerShell gallery. We can download it by using install script and the dash force just allows it to go through without prompting me. And once that's on my system, then I can run the, the script. But before we do that, let's first verify that there's no scheduled task. I, I'm going to create this scheduled task on a remote computer called TSDC. And then I'm going to run get scheduled task here and with the task name of web service monitor, which will be the scheduled task name that I will be created. And then notice that it's not there we have a blank slate. All right, next up is where we run the script. Now there's gonna be a few parameters to this, but the parameters are pretty self-explanatory. First one is script file path, which allows me to specify the path to the PowerShell script that I'm going to be creating locally. Local script folder path is the folder in which the script that's stored locally is going to be stored on the remote server. 
My task trigger options, I'm setting it to daily, so it's going to run every day at 3 a.m. There's the task name, the run as user, and the run as password. The username and password is going to be ran under. The computer name, which is the computer name that's going to be created on. And then finally, the script parameters there, which are since our script has a URL parameter, I'm passing that URL to it. Um, so we're doing the exact same thing. We're setting up that scheduled task exactly the same way as we ran it locally. All right, so now let's go ahead and run this and this is going to go out to TSDC run it create that scheduled task all right so now there should be a scheduled task on the TSDC remote computer so we we'll, let's check it out here I will run get scheduled task on that remote computer and then notice that it did come back it didn't error so we do have a scheduled task called web service monitor okay so I don't want to wait until 3 a.m. so I will go ahead and just kick this off manually with start scheduled task all right, so it's started. It's going to take just a few seconds here, and by the time I get done talking, it's probably going to be done. So let's confirm that. The script is configured to write to the log file of C web service monitor. So notice over here, log file path was C web service monitor log. I'm going to check this locally over this UNC path and check this out. And then now notice that it's exactly the same thing. It's showing the, the correct timestamp and everything. I can run this again just to prove that that actually worked and then we try this again and hopefully this comes back yep so notice that it just keeps running it's just going to run every day at 3 a.m that way so that has been a simple example of creating a web service uptime script in powershell